social scientist, I thought that it is also a, an anthropological as well as historical account of the migration and the migrant community in London and in general. So these are the three things which I thought is very much important in the book. So I'll just read three excerpts from this book. I'll start from the very beginning. I call it Once Upon a Time. Um, so let me read it out. It seems that I have lived 100 years in England and as I have accumulated so much memory over the years, with the pieces before I have seen it and with the particles that after I have seen it, a seamless embroidered quilt has been sewn. When the thunders of March clouds die down and the small blue flowers by the trunk of pear trees pronounce the advent of spring, I feel that I have known them for 99 years. Ma, what if you tied to the fringe of my sari when I left the shores of the east, following the footsteps of my ancestors? Why do I think that one day my seed would also be implanted in this country, right here in East London? In around 1670, 85, long before my ancestors settled here, the French Higgins came to this country and sowed sail 